and just watch watch this magic happen. So I already used the Lisa Eldridge foundation. This is the ultra creamy concealer. So let's go ahead and try this one. The Lisa Eldridge foundation is so good that it makes it feel like you don't need any concealer. It's almost like it's a concealer and foundation in one. Sometimes it looks like I don't have anything on, so that's why I want to do two layers. And I'm going to let it dry down a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and blend it out now. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I think because it is so creamy, it's almost like you don't see it. I know that's what we want with makeup sometimes, but this one's like, you. sometimes you really feel like you don't have anything on. For me, it doesn't serve a lot of purpose. I also think that I just got a color that matches my skin tone too well, so I probably have to pick up one that is a little bit lighter than my skin tone. I don't have any new powders either, so I'm just gonna go in with the Pat McGrath Labs. This is a yellow under eye powder. I'm just gonna go back in with that concealer brush. And I'm just gonna use this to set that concealer. I'm gonna be using the Benefit Palmade. It's been out for like a couple months now, um, but it is the most recent brow product that I have. I love this stuff. I have been using it consistently ever since. I would use it more if I didn't need two things to use this. That's why I just always end up using my brow pencils because I feel like it's quicker because I only need one product. Otherwise, I would always be using this one. Super fast. I could just leave it there and call it a day. And unless this product dries up, like I don't, I feel like I'm gonna be stuck with this product forever. So quick. The color matches perfectly. Best colors for an eyebrow product. See? I could totally just leave it there and call it a day. Also, this brow pomade, it's recommended that in the inner portion of your eye, brow use a powder so I'm gonna go in with the ABH brow powder deal and fill in the inner portion of my eyebrow this is another really good eyebrow product again it's really easy to use and just looks so natural oftentimes when I apply any product in this area of my eyebrow it ends up looking way too harsh But I feel like with this powder, I could pack on a lot and be okay. So I feel like it's very beginner friendly. See? Perfect color shade too. The thing with the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow products, like you could find a lot of dupes, but it has the best color range. They have the like perfect color match for brows. I don't know how they do it, but. And of course, Benefit also makes really good brow products. I'm just gonna take a little bit of the Pat McGrath concealer and fit, clean up these brows. Now I'm just gonna set my brows in place with the my favorite, the Benefit 24 our brow setter. I literally use pretty much all of my favorite brow products at the moment. A few people have posted on Instagram asking if people like the more natural looking brow or do they like the fluffy brow? And everyone's saying that they like the natural looking brow. So I'm jumping back into that. Normally the edges of my brows, I would have like had them more fluffy looking, but I now lay them down. Cause honestly, I prefer that. I think it looks a little bit nicer, um, but I still kind of leave the 
this, these parts a little bit more fluffy, but not as fluffy. So many sirens going off today. Crazy. I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz palette. When I reviewed it, or well, when I did our first impressions of it, I felt like I was not too happy with it. It pretty much was because um, many of the colors weren't coming off how I thought they would. A lot of Huda Beauty's eyeshadows, I feel like I could just find in a ColourPop palette, which is true. However, I've been playing around with this palette a little bit more and I'm loving it. I love the color combinations you can get with this. It's just really pretty. And you get these bright pops of colors, but then you can also go for like a neutral tone. So all in all, like the whole color story and everything and all the different looks you can create with it, I have been quite enjoying it. Also, I want you to see with the Natasha Denona Glam Palette how amazing this transition shade is. This is my like favorite transition shade. I really like this transition color. I think I'm going to use Radiant, Radiate, Radiate and Serenity in my crease today. I'm going to use the smudge brush and I'm going to take this color and use it to deepen up my outer V. This area right here. And just put it on the outer edge of my eye. It's a really fun palette. I like how all the colors, I mean they obviously go with each other, but it's it's fun. I, lo I love these color combinations. And every time I'm done using this palette, I'm always like, oh, I love this look. So I actually do, I do like this palette. I think I would recommend it. So these are some of the shimmers. Some of them you do have to swatch before applying it because um, like Moon Magic, for example, it comes off very blue, but in the pan, it looks like pinkish blue. So I'm gonna go in with Self Love. It's like a pinky, pinky white. I'm happy with that. If you really like these bright pops of colors, then you're gonna love this uh, Rose Quartz palette from Huda Beauty. This isn't new, but it's one of my favorites so far. This is the NYX Epic Ink Liner, and uh, I filmed a video trying this one out. And I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty mascara, the Legit Lashes. This is one of my favorite mascaras at the moment. It has two sides, one for volume and one for curl and length. This is also a new product from e.l.f. and this is the No Budge Precision Liner. I have been using this all the time. It doesn't budge like so many other, like so many other liners. The uh, liner especially when i put it on my waterline right here it always smudges and i hate it and i kind of just stopped doing it but now that i have this one i started to um use this right here and then i also love to use it to tight line my eyes because it's so tiny that it makes it really comfortable to tight line my eyes and also really easy i don't even have to like lift up my eye i could just go in there because it's so tiny and precise I'm going to go ahead and apply this on the outer corner of my waterline. I'm going to go in with the Natasha Denona palette and I'm going to be using her blush. This is a cream blush consistency, but honestly it kind of just feels like a powder. One coat is not enough, so it's not that pigmented but it's okay it's buildable and that is the natasha denona blush i'm not crazy about this blush but i do enjoy having it i think it's good to put this kind of color in the palette 
because I feel like you can use this blush color for a lot of different looks. Honestly, the highlight in the palette, in this palette, is like star of the show. And just watch, watch this magic happen. So just like the blush, it comes off looking very natural. I love it. Look at that. Ugh. We're gonna go on with Clarity in um, the Sunscape Highlight from M Cosmetics and apply this to the inner corners of my eyes. For a little pop of color. Isn't that so pretty? Like this side compared to this side. So M Cosmetics is similar to like Natasha Denona where it comes off looking very natural. Here's Serenity. It's like this rose gold color. And I, this so far is my favorite highlight shade. It's rose gold, but it ends up looking so natural on the skin. Like, look at that. I guess that isn't too natural, but it's just so pretty. I love this rose gold color. But I'm gonna be using the M Cosmetics uh, So Soft Stick. And this is in the color Pangea. I think I'm saying Pangea. What is a Pangea? I think I'm saying that right. Um, but I'm gonna try this out because this is like a fairly new product for me. And the reason why I wanted to get this is because it was an Allure Award Best Winner. And I'm just gonna use this as my contour. And the interesting thing about this is as you could see, like look at how dark that is, but then it blends out and matches perfectly. So it's understandable why this received an award. It's because it really is one of the best colors for contours that I've tried. And I'm learning that with contour, you want a shade. So a shade shouldn't be brown, it should be like gray. And this is, um, very close to that like when you saw that i feel like the deepness to it was like a mixture of brown and gray and that's what's giving it that really dark color and that's what's going to make it look more like a natural shadow so you can't even see it it literally just looks like a shadow i'm gonna apply it on my nose and it's kind of cool too because you can be a little bit heavy-handed with it but um like watch how it just blends out see you genuinely like you cannot see it it just really looks like you're getting that definition but it looks like a shadow so I have to say I think this is one of my favorite contour sticks I think it's even better than the Fenty matchstick simply because of the color like if the Fenty matchstick had this shade Then I probably would like the Fenty one a little bit better, but this one's really easy to blend out It's so creamy, but it doesn't just like leave your face. It's still there You can still see a little bit of definition And it's amazing if you see my review my first impressions video on this you'll know that I'm not a big fan of these especially because the colors are not identical to the website, so you don't really know what you're getting. And overall, I just don't think that they're worth the money. These are so expensive. I was almost going to return some of them, but at the end of the day, I do use these colors, so I just stuck with it. They're nice lip liners, they work, but I, I don't think that they're worth the price, and I don't, like, you're just as good getting a NYX lip liner. Um, it does a little bit have that like soft blur to it But I also feel like if you just take the liner and you use your finger to dab it in Then you can kind of get a similar effect. So all in all, I don't think that it's worth it This is in the shade Travis. It also does have a nice consistency too Even though it's a pencil, I feel like pencils usually uh, Feel drier and more stiff, but this one actually feels creamy 
So you can already see it is creating a little bit of that like blurriness to it. It's like a matter of preference. Like, do you want to have a brush on the other end? Do you always feel like you have to use the brush and, you know, blend it out and feather it out? Do you like these creamy formulas? I think that's, for me, that's what it comes down to. And then the last step, I'm going to go in with the Makeup by Mario new lipstick, the Ultra Soy lipsticks, which are my favorite. Probably one of my favorite makeup items of... 2021. But actually, I'm going to do a deeper shade. So I'm going to do Jeff. This is a deeper brown and then I'm going to use Garth in the center because it's lighter. So it'll create that gradient effect. Sorry for the audio change. I wasn't I didn't have my audio on. One of the reasons why I was really disappointed with this lip liner is because they claim that you can use this lip liner on its own, but clearly, no. Trying out all new makeup. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you like to hear about like new makeup releases because that's what I do on my channel. I'm always reviewing new makeup. So make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified of when I post new content. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in another one. Bye.